Welcome back to In Her Eyes, where we're directly after the last video, which last time we did got tons of leads. Well, yeah. No. Not really? I mean, the only thing we did was like get a black market, get fixed up at a doctor who wanted to sell her, uh, buy her body. And that's kind of weird when we're talking about a 15 year old, but just know it was for parts because she is an android, even though she later said her parts are biologically accurate to humans. I don't know what's going on there. Ugh. And then we went to the black market and got creeped out. <laughs> and like I said, and then I manipulated the light so I can touch things. So we're back at it again. 24 days, 17 hours, 15 minutes, and 12 seconds before the fake assassination attempt. It is 15 for April 2020. Yeah. So let's hit it up and run with it. You still looking tired. Are you losing sleep? On the contrary, I fell asleep, but I kept having messy dreams. You have dreams too? Sometimes I really wish that my doctor could have made make my function simpler. It's you who are so complicated. Maybe you're human? Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm not the kind of android who longs to be the human, but thank you for trying to be, trying to comfort me. Uh. Although, although some androids want to become human, I don't think it's okay. Maybe I'm too naive. Aw, oh, you're young. I mean, hey, when you're an android and like this, biologically speaking, you're a human. If you're undistinguishable or indistinguishable from a human, as in the DNA and everything else other than your parts, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can count as human or not. I mean, a biological perspective is runs deep. No, you should be proud of who you are. That goes for everybody out there. How you doing, uh, fellas and ladies out there? Even pets, how your pets doing? I know my pets are doing A-OK, -okay. kinda, kinda not. Tearing up the carpet as usual. Let's go back to the black market and find out all the secrets. Dig them up one by one. Okay, all right, let's go, wait. Need the map, where's the map, where's the map, 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 24 days, I don't know where, mm. I wanna see it, oh, there we go, I had to click go out, Ugh. We still need everything, but, oh, this is gonna take a while. We only have 24 days, this is going by fast. Two hours, six days, oh gosh. We're hitting about one day every 20 minutes. That is bad, especially if we've got all this to go to, and we've only got like, one, two, three, four, five, and we still need one, two, three, four, five, six. That, I mean, we could probably get it. We could probably get it. Let's, I mean, only one way to find out. Let's go black market. Let's get attacked by some of those monsters. Monsters. All in the good wood from audionautics.com mv3. I'm arriving at the slimy black market again. Where can I find the woman called the gambler? Huh, do you really think you should be looking for her? Call it my intuition. I think there's just must be a key message on her. I think there must be a key message on her. What? Ah, that scammer. Hi, little one. Come and have a look. You must want to see my new treasures. Hey, you! Don't leave! Come back and have a look! You little squirt! <laughs> Go away, your things are out of date. No one wants to see it. <laughs> Pooh! You look like a toad. No one wants you to see anything. Hey, toads are cute. You don't disrespect my toad, little toad buddy. The restless businesswoman tries hard to sell, but no one stops. She makes funny faces behind the backs of each passing figure. Sister, happy business is not going so good today, is it? What do you want? Seeing Mimi, she puts on a cold expression like a mask. Oh, okay. Sister is also aloof today. You said you hoped I would come again last time. You seem to be getting a little better at acting. <laughs> and it's worrying me greatly. No, my my pure flower made me know. <laughs> Meme, you were supposed to be pure and perfect. I mean, that's all part of growing up, actually. I mean, anything to save the world. I really didn't expect you to be this reckless. How have you lived this long? What? Because I'm good. 
I have defeated a giant machine. Mimi took out the parts from the giant machine with the metal flowing with a strange sheen. Dang. That's poetry. <laughs> Which would really only be seen from the monster. Mimi walks toward forward step by step, getting right into the merchant's face. Oh no, Mimi, no. What are you doing? Don't do it! It's broad daylight! Don't come any closer! What are you talking about? Dear sister, don't be afraid. I just want you to know anything about you. I, I just want to know anything you know about a woman called Gambler. She is a nice dolly. Oh, but no, you can find her easily enough. But she's wary of strangers. Well, well, she won't talk to anyone, just anyone. No, no, you tell her you want to buy the treasure of angelic hosts. And she will talk to you. I don't know anymore. Thank you. Uh, what? What? Wait, well, wait, what? I'm, I'm confused. Why was she so scared? Uh, 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 baby took out the parts of a giant machine. The metal flowing with a strange sheen, which could really only be seen from the monster. Uh, okay. I don't understand why it was so, I mean, it is a giant monster. And when we defeat it, get it! Mimi, who was still a newbie yesterday, seems to be at the top of a food chain today. <laughs> oh boy, she a shark. She quickly absorbs what she's learned yesterday on the black market and uses it to her benefit. It's an amazing performance, and it is indeed the technology of the future. For the first time, I pay tribute to future researchers. Even though that the future researchers uh, of that future are actually a different future than this one, and the researchers were... The technology for the researchers had to deal with were in 1992. I'll... I don't know what is going on. I feel like you've gone rogue a little. I, I do. I do. No, me, me, no. This is the wisdom of survival. Let me see. The alley is the east. Ah, she really is there. The rude woman is leaning against the wall of the alley, smoking, ignoring the mice running past her feet. Running past her feet? You mean past her feet? I... Hi, we meet again. Daredevil. Oh, every time I see that face, I was like, oh god. <laughs> I'm sorry, but her face. <laughs> Seeing Mimi, she abruptly turns away. Don't run, I want to buy the secret treasure of the angelic hosts. Mm -hmm. Where did you hear about that? Don't underestimate me, I also have my own network. It's okay to talk business, right? Uh, okay, so it's obvious intelligence network. The truth of the world lies in the babbling brook of a hint of lemon of the drunken man and the idle chatter of an old woman. <gasps> oh! Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh. Ha when did she go to the bar? We didn't go to the bar. We just threatened a lady. <laughs> I, I got confused. It was talking about a bar. But, never mind. Smooth-tongued. Do you even know what the secret treasure of the angelic host is? Uh, a feather? <laughs> eh. Did you mean this? Like a magician, she draws a palm-length feather from her vest. Mimi holds it in her palm of her hand. The feather is a dark gold. Light, slowly flowing along the surface. It's a key. It's a freaking key. I knew it. Or a bullet. Although it seems made of some sort of metal, it's light and makes a faint sound and soft breeze. In the soft breeze. Ah, so it's a feather made of metal. It's, it's so pretty. Is this the one worn as a jewelry? Don't you know? No, I don't. Why? Well, the gambler's face flickers with surprise and doubt. It was like someone hearing this question for the first time. I know. Wow. I know. I just want to buy this. Is it really as magical as the legends say? It depends on who you what your wish is. Wish? Is it used to fulfill wishes? 
Uh, I wish for the world to be stable and not destroyed. <laughs> uh, I wish it can cure your illness. Huh? I'm not sick. Angel Feather, what a rom romantic name. Buy it, pay for it. Don't fret. Cheat? A uh, carrot and stick? Deals three damage and gives two layers of poison. Two layers of poison? What are we talking about? Deals eight damage, reduces two damage every time you draw that uses card. Ooh. Cheat, snatch, or purchase. How much money do we get? We got a four hundo. We gonna fun hunt. Four hunt. Uh, we gonna fund this lady's kids through college. Probably don't have kids. Probably just abuse them and throw them off on the side of the street. We gonna cheat her then. Actually, I... It's not for myself. I was interested to ask you for the angel feather. Rust on weapons is already kind of poisoned, anyway. What? Yeah, okay. Mimi become more chaotic. Well, new... She's still true neutral. Mimi begins to make up lies. It's none of my business. The one who asked me is... Uh, didn't she just say it wasn't her business? Uh, is it? There's no safe point. Oh, crap. Why would you do this? Why would you do this to me, developers? No. No. This is all fast. This is not good. I can't go back and change my what I want to do. Okay, the owner of the bar, or Detective Ico, Black Market Merchant, uh, I don't know. I feel like if I say anything, I'm gonna get someone killed. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. The owner of the bar, she's a nice lady. I ain't gonna put this on her. And Detective Ico, she, 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 she seems kind of fishy. Yeah, but she's a detective, so she has to be fishy. Uh, black market merchant, go jump off a cliff. But if I say that, Miss Gambler is a little bit too... Oop, I kicked my desk again. She's a little too... She knows her, right? Because, I don't know. The one who asked me is Detective Ayako. What? I've never heard of it. Ah, I remember the wrong name, actually. Uh, the black market merchant. She? Nice try. Find your own ways of getting it. Uh, no, I lost my mind. Uh, actually, the owner of the bar. What? What happened to her? It was the owner of the bar, dang! Hearing the name of her bar owner, the gambler suddenly... Oh, that's the reason! Uh, uh wait, wait. Hold on. What was the... What, where did that come from? Oh, right. That was a clue. The intelligence network. Ugh. Chatter of an old... I knew it had something to do with a bar, but I didn't want to get her killed. I mean, she... This lady just looks like the type of person to do that. Someone named The Gambler. Ugh, I mean, you just don't deal with. Hearing the name of the bar owner, the gambler suddenly exited. Her cigarette falling to the ground. A large rat picks it up and scurries away. Uh, she looks troubled, as if there's something on her mind. So she came to ask me, asking about feathers. What, 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 huh? Okay, hearing the name of the bar owner, the gambler suddenly gets excited, excited. I thought that said exited. Oh, that didn't make sense. I just pictured her running off. I was like, wait, why'd you come back? What the fool? She should have come to me directly. She still cares about that. Uh, Mimi nods as if she knows everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just nod in approval. It's as expected. Take this feather. Carefully, please. Hand it to her. Okay. A sad look flashes in the gambler's eyes, and she leaves in silence. Is this a secret treasure? It looks like an accessory. What does it do? Does it have to be worn to make it work? You mean I actually took... I actually went the whole entire direction. And, oh man, oh well. At least I got it. At least she didn't shoot me in the face. Okay. Whew. How do you feel? I don't know. I don't really feel anything. Yeah, uh, you'll feel something when you accessorize yourself with this angel's feather because you can draw two cards, get two batteries. 
exhaust. It is said that angel feathers can make dreams come true. Mimi strings the feather around her neck like a necklace. See, just what I said, frowning. She raises her hands, making a funny pose like she's receiving radio waves. What? I don't feel anything, but it seems like a little, seems a little, uh. Suddenly, the sounds of lively singing burst from outside the alley as if some celebration is being held. Let's go and see, why not? Yeah. Love from binsound.com. Oh, love. Exiting the alley. That's the word I thought it said. I see people bowing low to the ground on both sides of the road. Among the kneeling worshippers, people in white robes with golden patterns sing softly. They carry with them a throne-like thing on their shoulders. But there is no one sitting on it. What? This is... It's an angel parade. Uh, what? Wow, when did you get there? When did you get here? What do you mean? I've been just over here. Over there. Did you say angel parade? Huh? Well, you are so eager to get angel feathers, but you haven't had an angel parade yet. Speaking of, you got the feather. Yes, I did. Now shut up. And tell me about the angel parade. The merchant's eyes fall on the feather around Mimi's neck, and Mimi clutches it nervously. Back away, lady. Back away. I can't beat you any now. Anyhow, I can't beat you anyhow. I didn't expect you to get anything from that gobbler. You envy me? <laughs> Not necessarily. I don't want to see the angel. Just a feather is enough for me. What? One message after another about this angel is emerging now. Coming with it are the more puzzles waiting to be solved. Can I see the angel? No! Why are you working so hard to find feathers? Is it for some pretty accessory? I don't understand the fashions of young people these days. Oh, shut up, you old hag! Angel feathers can fulfill wishes, and they say if you hold one whilst participating in the rising ritual, you can even see the angel in person. Perfect! Happen it now? Mimi, go up get on that pedestal way that they call and they're handed on their shoulders. Let's do it! What did you say? Oh, the crowd is watching the parade as they stand out. I'm going to take the opportunity to go back and do some business. What? Did you hear what she said? Yes. <laughs> Sounded like horse crap. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, this is the most important clue so far. I had it a feather. We will go back and organize our information immediately. Oh, crap. No, wait. Uh, I said that. Oh, I should have said that in... I didn't realize my name was up there. Oh well. I know she heard that. Oh wait. Oh. Can she hear me? I don't think she can. But let's look at the world. True neutral. Yep, still neutral. Still growing up like a uh, fantastic lady. Today's big victory. Victory! <gasps> victory! Not, a Not only did I get the feather as planned, but I also received important information about the angel. <laughs> I'm still very capable. Right, right. Come on. I need your self-affirmation. Oh, okay. It is indeed something to be pleased about. I mean, yeah. We got the feather. Not sure what the heck it does. I mean, it grants wishes, I guess. I mean, we... Uh, should we go to the bar? And I mean, I really want to go to the bar. I really want to know what happened. She was very composed in the daytime. But once getting home, she becomes like a noisy little animal. Hmm, that's, be that's called being professional, okay? She must r be relieved because of t today's breakthrough. I'm, a also, I'm also happy. Can't you say how I'm messing up my words? I'm also so happy that I'm got happy to have. It seems that angel feathers are a treasure that makes people happy. If I feel like there is nothing that I can can't achieve. Maybe except godhood, because... Well, no. It's 11 o'clock p.m. Oh, freaking no. Then please. Lady, can you do any- Then please, lady who can do everything, start organizing today's information. What was the biggest achievement today? We got a feather. That's true. I'm feeling inspired. It is indeed an angel feather. How do you know what an angel feather looks like compared to an eagle feather or a bird feather? I'm not sure. Does it have- I don't know. What does it look like? It's just a metal feather. Mimi smiles brightly. Is this mental intervention? 
Uh, that's an incredible technology. I don't know if someone in this world has mastered it. It would be dangerous if the effects of the intervention could be controlled more precisely. Oh my gosh! Are you saying that the a a angel feather is actually affecting her mind? Ooh. Unfortunately, you answered wrong. How the heck? Think about what the merchant said in the end. The angel feather is a ticket to the angel's rising ritual. You can only see the angel if you hold it. Ah, that means... Here are two points of information. Mission updated. An angel is a person who can meet or something. You can uh, only see the angel if you have an angel feather. So the killer must have been have an angel feather as well. <gasps> the victim is the angel. The angel feather is the killer? What? Wait. The... Uh, are we doing this? Huh. Mimi comes to a quick conclusion. That's right. The killer is most likely the one holding the angel feather. But the victim is the angel, right? And not the killer? I mean, that could be an opposite way. Maybe like a, a superior officer of the UN or something comes by and says, Hey, angel, I need you to do something. And uh, some angel guy off on the distance says, Okay, you can shoot now and go uh, Oh, yeah forgot to bang I mean that could happen. I'm not sure though I need more information than that to go on that conclusion. I'm sorry, but that's all we got so that's good So that's the current assumption which we could be wrong. I'm not sure about this game about being wrong We haven't got that far yet uh, That gambler it is very suspicious in addition It's still some time before the assassination takes place and the killer may not have the obtained the feather yet So everyone who wants a feather would like to get the closer to closer to the angel then to assassinate Maybe I just had a conversation about it. That's it. <coughs> Oop, sorry when Mimi is calm her ability to analyze information is without a doubt without a doubt what I don't know. I don't know how Ayako is doing. Maybe I can also be a detective. I think I could do better than her. She's only as good as her business card looks. <laughs> oh, dang! Oh, sick burn! The only problem is that her cooling off period is too short. <laughs> That's true. You're too excited. It's almost like a school kid going on a spring trip. I want to go on a spring trip. Help! <laughs> Someone give me a spring trip. Trip spring? I don't want to trip over no spring and break my ankle again. Or knee again. Or elbow again. <laughs> I feel like I don't have to sleep at all. I'm so full of energy. You said that last night. If you do that, then you won't be able to get up tomorrow. Think about the countdown. Whether it's the feather or not, Mimi's excitement lasts for a long time. Until midnight, when the strange heat wave finally cools down and Mimi falls asleep. Until what? Uh... <laughs> And, okay, whatever. This feather is really not a good thing. Suddenly, the sight in front of me becomes distorted. It's the Tower of Babel! This is... Mimi's room disappears in front of me where a white tower shrouded in mist. Where am I? Where the heck heck am I? In the silence, the white tower looms ominously down at me. Who or what is watching me from the tower? I'm a freaking human! That's why it didn't affect Mimi so... Oh, man. I will report your voice. I freaking hope not. Murmur comes from the, above the tower, and a dark shadow appears on the promenade that stretches from the tower to the sky. Who are you? The dark shadow doesn't respond. It shifts into the stiff and twisted posture. With a great gust of wind, six wings burst out from the shadow, and the, the, and the whirling winds dissipate the mist. Angel? No, that's a seraphim. No, that's a cherub. Cherubim? Cherubim! No, seraphim have six wings. But Satan also had six... Lucifer had also six wings. Uh, he was a cherubim, right? Uh, okay. So, very much a hierarchy angel. Not saying, holy, 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 Uh, not a seraphim, obviously, because he'd be on fire. I say the name without meaning to. Hmm. The angel seems to sigh and slowly walks toward the end of the prom promenade. A soft beam of light greets him where the promenade meets the sky. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, that's I like that. I like that. The angel does not turn back, waving his wings and flying towards the end of the light in the sky. 
What the hell is this? Oh yeah, say that in front of an angel. Before I can say anything else, the white tower suddenly collapses in front of me. The promenade that the angel had just been walking on is shattered. Huge white bricks falling towards me. Oh god. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, the moment the boulder hits me, I'm returned to Mimi's room. The night is still and calm like a peaceful lake. The sounds of passing cars pierce through the window. Mimi is asleep in a starfish-like posture. <laughs> is that Mimi's dream? That could... No, what? How does he... How do you gather that? I have no idea what the heck you talking about, bro. You grab the feather. You saw the angel. I'm assuming because we're corporeal mass of some kind of spiritual energy but how could you gather that is Mimi's dream whatever let's keep going Mimi did you have any weird dreams I did a weird one a very real dream a very real one I dreamed an angel flew away from the white tower I saw it too really now how could I discern that how I don't I don't I, mm. did I touch the feather on her neck or did she take the necklace off and then lay it on the counter? Now, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I ris misread, misinterpreted something. I saw it too. Uh, is it because of the angel feathers? I didn't really understand it. Mimi's fingers slip around the golden feather still hanging from her neck. She frowns down at it. Is it some kind of cure for insomniacs? You uh, have a mail message. Uh, oh, oh, got an email. Who is it? Uh, Ayaka. Come to the bar. Uh, but don't come too early. <laughs> but don't come too early. See you at the bar. You're a genius, detective. See ya. Oh, you just gotta stroke that ego of hers. You're a genius, detective. Uh, you didn't put see you. And also, you put a space between... Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> it sounded kind of patronizing when you don't add the see you there, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no dip, Sherlock. Don't worry, it's Ayako saying there's a new clues. Let's go to the bar. All right. That woman, I don't think she is completely reliable and she does things too slowly. You used to trust Ayako. In the beginning, I didn't think it was such a proper place for a detective's office. You're the one who could, couldn't even move when you saw the word beautiful girl. You're the one who couldn't even move when you saw the word beautiful girl. What? What? I'm confused. This girl, I feel she is trying to find wrongs. What's going on with you? We still need more information. Go to the bar and make sure they uh, make an appointment. Look, this is called be seeing a pretty girl and then you... This is called seeing a pretty girl then you can't move. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. What? I don't understand what you want. What? 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 Am I losing something? I am notorious for not understanding any like this flirtation stuff. I mean, I can flirt, but if somebody's flirting to me and I don't realize they're flirting, uh, I don't get it. It goes right over my head. <laughs> but it doesn't mean I'm that dense. I, I'm confused. Symptoms of long sleep in another world. Wait, insomnia? Symptoms of long sleep? No. Symptoms of long sleep? Wake in another world. Wait a minute. Are we reversing this? Is this the dream world on my piece? Is my computer dreaming? Is this my computer's dream? I don't know. Is Mimi my laptop? Oh, I love you so much, my 15 year old laptop, even though you're like four. Actually, one and a half. I bought you one and a half years ago. Anyway, uh, let's go out, I guess. Wait a minute, go back. I want to check something. She's still true to neutral. Okay. Okay, let's go to the bar. I'm not sure what the heck she was getting on about, though. Feel good feel from the audionautics.com. I could be a radio host with this type of voice. Anybody want to come listen to my own music down in the description below? You can buy it and stream it on any software or service out there in the known internet. Only 62 places, I'm sorry. I forgot her accent. Welcome, just by yourself. 
Then please take a seat at the at the counter. It's two people. Boss, I have an appointment today, so can we sit on the deck? Uh, by the way, it's the detective you introduced us to. Ah, it's Ayako. The first time I saw you, I knew you two would get along just fine. I'm still confident in my eyes. Uh, so please come. Uh, I'm, I'm still confident in my eyes. So please come. Uh, just so-so. I think it's not as good as mine. <laughs> what? What? I don't understand this line of text. Mimi. Boss. Appointment. Sit on deck. By the way, detective. Ayako. I knew you two would get along. I'm still confident in my eyes, so please come. Just so-so. I think it's not as good as mine. What? I am loaded confused. My brain is overloaded. <laughs> I don't know if this is supposed to make sense. Is, is this making sense to someone else? Because I'm either just so tired, <laughs> which may be possible, but I don't understand. What? I mean, uh, I really did have, I don't know what the heck going on. This is English, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, I don't understand what that meant. I don't understand the context. What was the intention of saying this? Uh, what? I don't understand. I don't understand, girl. This girl is so arrogant today. I don't understand what that meant. I'm, I'm, I literally sat here for five minutes over that one line. Almost five minutes, I think. I'm not sure who. It turns out that Mimi is quite sharp today. By the way, your feather necklace is very pretty. Thank you. Boss is good taste and fast. Fashion. What's wrong with Ayako? So slow. She must be a night owl. Uh, you always speak for her. You will not get taller if you don't sp if you don't sleep well. You need to do as you're told. What? Wh what? Why are you saying that to me? Do you even need to worry about that? Your height is fixed at the lab. Who the heck is that? <laughs> Why does that look like a Miku in like a Halloween dress or something? Uh, more women to talk. <sighs> Stop. An unfamiliar woman sits in the opposite side of the table. Oh, the rifle on her back is clearly well maintained. It looks kind of redder than before. It looks out of place in this bar where everything else is old. That's not old, but compared to the huge metal sphere floating around her, it hardly seems worth mentioning. Uh, who is this? Your acquaintance? I don't know anyone from this timeline. Hey, those seats are taken. A girl with a floating ball. Bah! Her! <laughs> I'm going with that one. Why the heck not? <laughs> she hasn't shown up. She hasn't shown up yet. But I asked my friend to meet us here. I'm sorry. That. All right. This is an efficient, efficient. Oh boy, that's going to get obnoxious really quick. What day is it? World Provocation Day. Let's change places. Don't rile up such tr strange people, strange weirdos with twin tails, please. It won't do any good. Why are you so timid? Why are you so arrogant all of a sudden? Our time is limited and we should give priority to our mission. People in the bar have also noticed the stranger. After all, she's being pretty obvious. Mimi, everyone is looking over here. Hey! Oh wait, I need a can. Hey! The chick over there with the floating ball, over there. She looks so pretty. She looks so pretty. Party! What a party mess! Look at a floating ball! Oh boy! It's not a not an old time thing then. First glance. Well, what that meant. Forget about that ball. Now check out her legs. Mmm, drumsticks. Mm. Oh, that was so gross. For real. When you have seen such nice looking legs over here. <laughs> she's incredible. Oh my gosh. That makes sense. They're so what? <laughs> no, they ain't right. Drumsticks are dark meat. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why am I talking like this? If you don't get the inside joke, it's from episode one. Go watch it. <laughs> but the opposite one is not as pretty. Oh, no. Please, no. Please, no. Oh, you dead, son. You dead. I'm gonna stay out of this. Yeah, not as good. Not as good. That pretty little ball thing. Oh, yeah, I could eat that ball like a meatball, even though it's... Not meat. Pseudo meatball! Ow! Oh. Oh. oh, ball ball? <gasps> I'm being watched again. How annoying. She puts on a happy expression and twists her waist deliberately. The atmosphere in the bar growing warmer. No, not well. I won't put up with this. It's not a beauty contest. Why are you so combative today? My gosh, what are you doing? 
Mimi looks very impatient today. Looks X. <laughs> oh. oh wait, is your name Ball Ball? Is, are, is the ball talking or is she talking for the ball? I'm not sure. Oh, the thing you really wear around your neck is it the treasure of the angelic host, Angel Feather? What? Angel Feather? Is that the legendary remedy that has been selling on the black market recently? You know nothing. It's a wishing machine. It said that as long as you have it, you know, wishes can be fulfilled. Gold, silver, treasures, anything that can be think of. What about pretty legs? Oh, I go for some drumsticks right now. Mm hmm, those legs. I don't care about how pretty they look, but if they taste good, mm, as long as you got those thighs, those breasts, and those wings. <laughs> I'm talking about a piece of chicken because I work in a place who actually- I'm a cook for a piece of chicken! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> well, uh, stop talking! Why is it so ambiguous? Talking about legs. I mean, are you like, oh, those are some great, fantastic legs that I want to rub my face on? Or are you saying, is that some fantastic luggage that I'd want to eat? I don't know! You drunk? So I'm just going to assume you mean eat, because you're all cannibals for some reason. As much as you want, this is a secret treasure of the angelic host. But they're not easy to get. How come this girl has been focused on? It's dangerous to be stared at. Don't expose any more. Let's get out of here. You! What are you talking about? This is just a necklace, a necklace! Girl with floating ball. Okay. Uh, it turns out that it to be a necklace! I this way! <laughs> ball ball. Oh. Hey. She's lying to you. That's not an ordinary necklace at all. The metal ball speaks. Well, duh, it's been speaking a while. Hello. I have a plan. Will you pretend to attract her attention? I'll... I'll... The opportunity to snatch her necklace and then we run. Perfect plan! The plan is good, but it w But it would be better if your voices were quieter because we just heard you. Ah! <laughs> I am gonna... Be straight with you! So I'm not going to date you because I am also a girl. Since I am straight. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm a rattler mercenary and it won't do any good for us to come up against me. It's better for you to give me that feather so we can be dead. No, is that a gun in her hand? I'm not sure if that's a gun in her hand. Or is that just a part of her dress? Because I don't know if I can touch a computer, I'm gonna touch that gun and shoot her in the face or the ball. You know, less blood that way. What if I say no? The young girl stands up suddenly, an oppressive sense of power coming off of her like a weight. A mercenary, is she? The deer hunter? The deer hunter? Oh crap, wait a minute! Where is that ball? You better watch for it. Taking a closer look, the levitating ball is behind Mimi, which is the perfect place for it to attack. Oh, you found it. But it's not bad. I just remembered that I don't have any hands. What? It's all counting on you now, princess. The young girl named Princess takes another step forward so she's almost up against Mimi's face. Ah! Fuck! Get back! Get back! Get back! Meow! 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 Everybody get the- Everybody get the, uh, the horse carriage and everything else. Bring all the drunkards out here. We got some hook fat. We got some folk ass gonna fight in the ball. We gonna see some beatings. We gonna get to see two women get thrown out of the ball by a boss. Please, help. I'm in the middle. <laughs> I'll bet on the one where the pretty legs will win. Uh, uh, a place for bad, place for bad. Give me money. Unable to select. Throughout the game, Mimi's personality can be altered by the card she holds. Once her personality changes, some options will be impossible to select vice versa. Mimi herself has a blank page. That's why these mem memories are so important. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, fine, I will fight, or maybe we should back off here. Why the heck is this not a lawful inclination? Oh, crap, we stayed neutral. Dang it. Uh, fine, I'll fight. Don't try to steal my feather. What kind of language is that? Wait, what? You need a drink? Staggering won't fight back even if they have cards? Bull crap, nuggets! You ain't got nothing. No, I needed this. No, uh. No, give me the back! Oh, crap. No, wait. I'm getting restored. Oh, dang it. I had to dodge. I didn't see that in time. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky. Dang it, what? It's happening. 
Ah! Huh. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Ah, it's a tricky. Uh. No, what? Wait a minute. Hold down control to skip text. Oh, what the heck is that? What? Uh, oh, crap. No. Really? Okay, I lost. Gotta go back. Bring it. Uh oh. Liquor. No. Come on. Oh dang it! Use that defense. Here you go. Here you go. Uh, here you go. Dang it! <gasps> no! I can't use it. No. No. Armor's filled up, right? No. Armor's right here. I hate that I give away the card. You gotta be perfect. Oh yeah. Also here, have this slap across your face. Oh nope! I clicked off accident. Bring it! Oh crap. Really? Really? We're even? Loses HP each turn. Oh right, I poisoned her. Oops. Okay, this is the last turn. Dang it, go, 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 go! No, yeah, ooh, whoa, wait, oh uh, wait, uh-huh. Turn six. Why do you have so much health? Armor will not decrease at the beginning of the turn? That's stupid. What happened? Excuse me, did I not win? Did I not win though? Dang it! Oh boy, what, wait, what, 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 wait, hold on. No! Crap! Oh, okay, I think I'm starting to understand how to play this. Okay, whoa, I needed to use this dodge. Dang it, why did it not dodge? <laughs> I don't know why I use that. Uh, here, have this. Here, let me. Ah, uh, can't use any of it. Ah, oh, wasted a card. Okay, let me, let me, let me do this. Why can't you use all your cards? Dang it! Oh dang! Oh no! Uh oh! I need this restore. No. Oh, what? Turn seven? Stop it. No, 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 what? When you always apply. Oh, crap. Oh, dang. Oh, crap. No. No, I don't think so. Dang it. Need defense. Oh, need you just attack. HP. 12. Attack. Oh, dang it. Oh, no. I failed again. Uh... Defense, defense, defense. Oh, I gotta have that defense. Yeah, you... Why does he have so many defense? Attack, attack. Dang it. No, I missed. No, no. Uh, I couldn't play this for some reason. Come on. You dead. See? She gets more HP. I don't know what to do here. Okay, defense. Oh, stop it. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Uh, crap. Should I should have did the armor. Oh, man. Cure my sepsis, please. Oh, that's from another game. Dang it, I did not miss that. I accidentally clicked the wrong one. <laughs> okay, this is kind of hard. Gotta bring it though. Come on. Oh, come on! How can I tell which one to use? Whoa, what? I got 350 coins. Oh, Bader, finally, yeah! Oh boy, that took a while. Yeah, trick evolved from shield bash. Uh, diamond cut diamond deals damage to your current armor. Why? Why would that do that? Uh, okay, confirm. You messed me up. You will pay for it. I became more lawful? Since when? You're still neutral. Oh, but 350 is gorgeous. Mm, yeah. Forget the legs. Money. <laughs> Stop it. Uh-oh. The bar owner catches Mimi and Princess wrists at speeds they couldn't see. 
and turns around to throw them to the chairs on opposite sides of the table. It hurts. Mimi got up, got the upper hand. If the owner hadn't stopped her attack, Princess would have suffered a loss. There is no fighting in my bar. If you want to continue, I'll deal with both of you myself. Yes, please. I'd rather you deal with this snot-nosed brat and also princess, please. Because I need to be taught a lesson. Ow, ah, good, I lose. What kind of cheating methods did you use? Said from someone needed help from a floating ball. This is the power of an angel feather. The feather which chose me. No, I think it was the help from me who actually had to parry everything. I also failed. Feather. Your feather is fake. Ayako's voice comes from behind. Ayako? Sorry I'm late. And you, lady. Please don't bother my friend. <laughs> Why is she called girl with a floating ball and sometimes princess? I'm confused. Well, these girls, I can get people just by looking at them. I see that, that feather. In fact, did we make a mistake? This is bad. There are too many opponents here. Let's get out quickly now. What are you talking about? Who are you? Oh, uh, wait. Hold on. The girl uses both hands and feet to hold the floating ball like a giant teddy bear. Looking slightly comical, the two fly out of the bar. Had no idea the ball could be used in such a way. How convenient for when you want to escape, huh? Stop right there, you thief. Damn it. I will cut you into little pieces next time I see your face. I didn't expect you to fight with people in the bar. Are you from an aggressive faction? Well, I want to be a brainy faction. I want to be a brainy faction. What? Who the hell was that girl with the ball? Uh, I've never seen her before. So you're fighting with strangers now. <laughs> uh, uh. Is it because of that feather around your neck? This? Yeah, this should be the angel treasure of the black market you told us about. Well, if you look closely, it really is a fake. Somehow, the golden feather appeared in Ya Ayako's hand. She raises it with two fingertips, turning it with careful scrutiny. Eh? When? You give me that back. Uh, okay. I'm confused royally now. What? Okay, what? Well uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh no, it's the market lady, isn't it? The market lady was standing so close with us, she probably snatched it, replaced it with somebody else, something else. Oh no. Aiko looks shocked as the feather bounces into the air. She slaps the feather quickly on the table with a firm palm. The, the metal feathers instantly turns into a shard of golden light. Yay, I turned my angel's feather into scrap metal. It does nothing but make you aware of how naive you are. Really? Really? You're gonna supplement my angel feather? Which made me draw two cards and get two batteries. With scrap. Fine. Be that way. You. This is not mysterious treasures of the black markets. It's a neuro neuroelectronic stimulant called Bliss. By continuously emitting ripples, it can affect the wearer's nerve circuit. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mechanical heroin. Fantastic. I hope there's no after effects. <laughs> because that'd be horrible. I don't think my computer computer could take it. Take a closer look and understand, right? This is a gemstone and an amplifying circuit. It's a simulate. It will stimulate the wearer's mood. Oh. A lot of testosterone and estrogen, huh? Ayoka. Ayoka feels with... Fiddles with the broken feather. Picking out a few pieces of green crystals and some tiny electronic components. Although I can't understand it all, Mimi suddenly realizes what Ayako's saying is true. Wait a minute, wait, well, hold on. I noticed something. Ayoka Ayako. <laughs> okay, whatever. Is she telling the truth? How did this happen? That gambler actually lied to me! It turned out to be quite a stimulus. No wonder you were so excited and combative today, as you were a completely different person. Have I? Yes, you have. You even told me to sit down, shut up, and do my job. The gambler on the black market? She sold it to you? The lies of that girl. Maybe there is a way to recover it. But let's talk about business first. You asked me to come, so there are any new clues? Yes, I have information about the top secret treasures of the black market. But it seems that you know a little. Although we were tricked by that old fox. With the bad painted eyes. Sorry for whoever painted her. The secret treasure of the angelic host is an item called Angel Feather. Yes! We've been over this! This item is said to be the obtained from the wings of an angel worshipped by the faith of group angelic hosts that appeared this year yes it's said to bet some people will have a dream about angels and it is for the reason that more and more believers join the group uh didn't we have a dream last night oh that dream i had it too you have this group is full of mysteries so many people can have the same dream 
And with the emergence of the Angel Dream, the angelic hosts also took some new actions. They started building a tower for the so-called Rising Ritual. Tower that the angel can take off from, from and fly into the sky. Oh, crap! <laughs> That was a scene in my dream! In addition, they also started an event called Angel Parade, which seems to be a ceremony in order to recruit more believers. That sounds like a Tower of Babel incident. That's what we saw in the black market. Dreams, towers, angel parades, and feathers being secretly traded? This group must have been quite some secret! That's a lot of secrets, man. Before you ask me, I have investigated this angel for a while, no. For a while, no? But... <sighs> I can't say too much. Another clue, it's a noteworthy event. We're feeling those shocks more often than now as well. Yes, yes, they are called the punishment. I finally found the source of the shock, which is in the school. School! By the way, you know what school is. Uh, It's a place where people study and learn knowledge and do forced child labor. I know that. <laughs> hmm. I'm surprised you know you know it. <laughs> Administrators of District 5 are a group of guys who spend all the day in the Renaissance. What? Under this concept, the school was established. And this institute is directly controlled under the management. But some kind of incident happened not long ago, which has caused the, the school to be closed for weeks. This has never happened before. And the time coincides with the time of the shock started. So the school must be the source of the shocks. Maybe there's a connection between all these? Maybe? Not sure. But if you want to go to the school to investigate, you have to get yourselves a new identity as most people can't just enter the school freely. Of course. With all these horrible things happening at schools. It's about to delve into a bad joke way too soon. But I will prepare these for you. I hope this information can help you. This has helped a lot. Thank you, Ayako. After all, I accepted the commission. So this is my part of the job. Mimi's requests. It feels like I will be very, it'll be very, very romantic. St a very romantic story. Then I'll head back first. Please contact me immediately if there's any new information. Ayako gets up and leaves the bar. So the feather is fake. You are really pumped up today. Yeah. Thanks. I got, I got a memory of my own, you know. You, kn you don't have to remind me. Hey, let's go home already. Oh, uh, that, what the heck? Ha, huh. ha, uh ha. -huh. It's going to be destroyed. Huh? What do you dis- what, what to be destroyed? There's nothing to stop it already. God does not come down to this world. We have been abandoned. Hey, 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 little girl, give up. No. Okay. Just no. <laughs> there is no mission anymore. No one can stop the stars on the ground. Crouching. Gain 20. Oh my god! Don't look, don't listen, don't say, don't do. I am not a monkey. I do not do or not what. I don't know. Ha 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 ha. As long as you hold your head and don't look, you won't be assassinated. What? <sighs> He's asleep. Oh, uh, this man is mad. Uh, did he mention the assassination? Well, try asking him next time when he wakes. Oh, I know. Let's kidnap him. He has a bag already. Why don't I just slip him up in it and just take him home and then slap him upside the face? He won't be homeless. Okay. So, dogs barking outside and all. Uh, well, not outside, but inside. Outside the door. But anyway, we're gonna go home. But anyway, right now, I think this is a good place to stop. Ah, how humiliating. As soon as she got home, Mimi buried her face in the pillow and shook her head on the side to side like a baby ostrich. Ayako says fake feathers are mood amplifiers. It seems that they are really impatient. You are really impatient today. Have you ever experienced these kind of feelings? I only want to take uh, hair heroin on baby <laughs> I, I shouldn't say that Mimi's voice is muffled her face still pressed lightly to the pillow Mimi's voice is muffled her face still tightly pressed into the pillow <sighs> I am in a completely unfamiliar timeline performing an aggravating task it's impossible to imagine what the world would look like if we succeeded but the disaster would result in failure of something you have actually experienced those scenes of despair appear in your eyes all the time all of my friends are not here, and even their faces are becoming blurred. Wait, weren't you made in a factory? What friends? You only have my invisible voice to accompany- Invisible voice? What? I don't know. I don't even know if you're just some kind of mishearing- Mishearing in my head. Mishear- You're- What? Sometimes, I think I'm crazy. Is this all true? Has the world really been destroyed? I'm so worried. I need to solve this. And fast. Hmm. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. Mimi is revealing her feelings for the first time. Before that, she only 
been she's only been describing the world talking about the heavy tasks on her shoulder I'm slowly losing water saliva. Before you came, I had been wandering alone for a long time. I almost gave up, and then I tried the summoning ritual. It was after you arrived that things finally started to turn around. Yeah, I... Thank you. Let's just start organizing our info for the day. Mimi leaps up out of bed, a, smiling, a smile back on her face. First of all, the feather we obtained is a fake. I'm so angry. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty gra glad it's fake. Anyway. There's a mysterious group called the Angelic Host. Whether it is a dream, an angel, or a black market mysterious object, and the angel feather is related to this group. It seems that we have to investigate have to investigate more carefully from now on. And the girl who came to grab the feather today, according to the drunks, she was obviously not a resident here. Even Ayako didn't know her. Well equipped and new to here. Plus she attacked us in the public just for the feather. Yes, she mission updated. Is she the deer hunter? Ah. Uh, I believe so, and she's here to grab the, our feather. Maybe she is the assassin that we're after. That floating ball is also a mystery. Whatever it is. At least it looks like that girl is taking some orders from it. Uh, maybe a flying mobile phone or something? Ah, oh, that's weird. What's a mobile phone? Alright. No, wait. No, mobile phones were in 1992, although they were freakishly huge. It, it's a device for long distance conversation. Can't believe there's such a thing. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> This coming from an AI human biology android. You really should reconsider how you use your tech points. Anyway, if she is the deer hunter, she might have considerable suspicions. What we need to do next is find the true identity of the deer hunter. Find the purpose of princess and get real get the real angel feather so we can investigate the angelic hosts. And the relationships between the shocks and the school, although we still can't see anything yet, so where's the school? Ah, oh, there's so much to do. I fought with others again, and I also learned that the feather that I worked so hard to get is fake. You didn't actually work hard, you just used honeyed words to weasel your way. And you actually got a lot of stuff wrong. It's like, oh no, this lady, no, I'm losing my mind. This, no, wait, not that lady, this lady. <laughs> was, oh, anyway. Ah, my body and mind are so tired, and I can't do anything anymore. I want to sleep, I need some sleep, shut up. Mimi. Is there anything else we're missing? Saving the world is not your responsibility alone. I will accompany you and support you full. Ah, uh, thank you. Yes, good night. All right, next day, oh well. This is a good place to stop. So, uh, how'd you like this episode? This is what, episode three? Oh man, and I'm actually finding it pretty easy to get around the same time. Of recording that is pretty amazing although I also failed a lot <laughs> and this is pretty hard but it is challenging and I think I like it so if you want more gaming content especially anime gaming content or indie gaming content then you go ahead and press that subscribe button and if you want to play this game it is in the link in the description so you can go support the developers and also, remember to click the like so we can get notified into the YouTube sub-program thing. And also comment down anything, your favorite part of the video, down below. Share it with your friends because they may want to play it too. Or watch it too. It is a visual novel after all, but it's going to make a lot of things different. But oh well. I love you and never forget to catch Mimi and I next time. <laughs>